Hi, my name is Manu Alikani. I am Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR Channel. The topic of today's discussion is macro osteoperforation. If you remember from previous sessions, we discussed that in response to orthodontic forces, transient inflammatory markers appear in the PDL, which recruits the precursor of the osteoclast, the bone resorbing cells, to the area, and follow up would be a bone resorption in direction of tooth movement, and that will cause the tooth movement to occur. It is logical to assume if we increase the magnitude of inflammatory markers in the area, the number of osteoclasts would be more and therefore bone resorption will happen faster and therefore the rate of tooth movement should increase. But how we can increase the magnitude of inflammatory markers in the area? If you remember from also previous sessions, we discussed that by increasing the force to the certain extent, we can increase the amount of the inflammatory markers in the area, but very soon we reach to the point that increasing the magnitude of the force more than that does not increase the magnitude of inflammatory markers. We call that point the saturation point. If this saturation point exists, how we can bypass it? Researcher at Citor Academy decided that if we apply directly a trauma to the bone, we should be able to bypass the saturation point. Let's do an experiment. Assume we grab a bunch of rats and we apply a small perforation inside the bone in direction of the orthodontic tooth movement. At the same time, we apply orthodontic forces. And we compared the rate of tooth movement with the animals that only receive orthodontic forces without perforation. Let's see what happened. In animals that receive perforation in direction of orthodontic tooth movement, the magnitude of inflammatory markers was higher. This was accompanied with increase in the number of osteoclasts in the area. Increase in the number of osteoclasts was accompanied with the decrease in bone density around the tooth that was the target of orthodontic forces. And in response to that, the rate of the tooth movement was higher. Well, this demonstrates that as long as we have inflammatory markers in the area, whether it's coming from the PDL or it's coming from the bone, we can recruit the osteoclast in the area and the bone density goes down and rate of tooth movement can increase. Does this animal study has any clinical application? Do we find a similar result in human? In this clinical trial, patients were divided to two main group. One that received the osteomacroperforation in addition to the orthodontic forces and one group that only received orthodontic forces. The first question was, does the application of osteomicroperforation increase the magnitude of inflammatory markers in the area similar to the animals? In response to this question, they noticed that the patients that received osteomicroperforation, they had higher magnitude of the inflammatory markers in the area. Of course, here they cannot do the histologic section to measure the number of osteoclasts, but they can study the rate of tooth movement. Again, they notice in response to this small perforation inside the bone, magnitude of the tooth movement increased significantly. So let's summarize the result of these studies. If we apply orthodontic forces, the inflammatory markers appear in the PDL and those activate the osteoclast. When in addition to the orthodontic forces, we apply a small perforation inside the bone, the magnitude of inflammatory markers increase more, the number of osteoclasts increase more, and the result of this increase in the number of the osteoclasts is a temporary osteopenia in the area that will be accompanied with the increase in the rate of tooth movement. To learn more about this animal study and clinical trials, you can refer to the published articles that you can have access through link below. I hope you enjoyed this session of your channel. 
if you have not subscribed to our channel please go ahead and subscribe and please don't forget to press the like button thank you